Hey y'all, welcome back to the party. It's me, your girl, Britt Reacts, and today we're reacting via a kind suggestion to Winona Judd performing Love Can Build a Bridge. This is from the Naomi Judd, A River of Time celebration, which I am assuming is her memorial, her maybe public memorial. Let's find out. <laughs> oh, she jumped right into it. Okay, number one, I like have chills. <clears throat> you can see how difficult this is for her to sing. She's like, it's <laughs> like her eyes rolled up in the back of her head. She like kind of looked up and you could just tell this means something. Um, two, her voice has aged impeccably. This I think maybe up until this point, the oldest I have reacted her to, like she's been fairly younger and the videos are like from the 80s that I've reacted to. Her voice aged like fine wine. Um, number three, uh, you guys, in all of my reactions to the Judds thus far, this song was the most suggested and requested. This particular form of performance was requested suggested in this for yada yada i'm like at a loss for words because i really have the chills like there was something about the way she just jumped right into it in such a powerful way um anyway you guys kept talking about this song it makes me feel like this song is maybe their biggest hit um and let me tell you something right now if someone gives you the last bite of food they really really love you like that is like as silly as that sounds i'm just telling you right now Cause no, I'm not sharing my food. <laughs> when all your hopes are sinking, let me sing to you what love means. Love can build a bridge between your heart and mine. It's hard. Yes, love Don't you think it's time? Don't you think it's time? Ooh. I don't I don't know if we're gonna make it through this one without me just balling up into a puddle. Um this looks like it's a church. There's like cathedral uh windows and everything. Okay, removing the context of the song being a memorial song and why it fits so perfectly, this sounds like it's a song with a call of action to peace. Like, don't she said, don't you think it's time? Like, love can build a bridge across everything. War, racism, pain, sickness, anything. Love can at least connect, which is what I believe they mean by love can build a bridge. Um, and that in itself is powerful, but to sing it at your mother's memorial and there is the understanding that perhaps this was their biggest, well, mo maybe most well-known hit together. Um, but also just talking about how the heart is a connection. It's, it's, it is what will tether them together forever. Um, it's so beautiful. It's heartbreaking. Like my heart aches for this lady. For anyone who's ever had to do something really hard like this, like speak at a funeral, perform at a funeral, it's like to honor your loved one means so much to you, but the heartbreak, oh my God. Like, I don't know if I'm going to make it through this one, guys. I, I, I Let me just go ahead and get my concealer catcher. I don't even have concealer on, but I'm getting my concealer catcher. Look how hard this is for her. I would whisper love so loudly that every heart can understand that love and only love can join the tribes of men. And I would give my heart's desire 
Oh, there's choir members in the audience, in the aisles. I was saying like I'm like there's people in robes the Christ Church Choir from their home church y'all this is so sad oh this is so sad Jesus going to church. Just going to church with this. Like the absence of her mother standing next to her singing. I, I feel like somebody commented and told me that uh, Winona and her mother had maybe some difficulty in their relationship, which I can't imagine working side by side with my mother for the world to see. I couldn't even imagine the dysfunction. So this is no judgment. Um, and I don't know where their relationship, relationship stood where 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 when she passed, and it doesn't matter. Um, to sing a song that means so much and that you've sung for so long next to someone and that someone is no longer there. What a pang. Like, I can't even imagine how many feel she's feeling. Like, she, you can kind of see on her face. She'll look up at the audience and you can tell she feels reverence and, and proud and, and thankful that this is a small fraction of people in the world that she and her mother impacted with their voices. But I can't, I'm like, whew. That I totally get, and I'm sure some of you are going to be upset that I didn't react to the original version or the version with Naomi. Um, but I get why this was requested, especially at, uh, as much as I talk about my faith and just how deeply sometimes things impact me. This, I won't, I won't forget this. Like, I'm going to be thinking about this for a long time. Like, just this, this still shot of her. This woman is in pain. And again, it doesn't matter. And I, I, and I could be wrong, but I feel like I remember seeing someone in the comments talking about their relationship having been strained at least at one point. And that does not matter. This is her mother. And people who share their loved ones with the world and then have to share their pain with the world. Oh, Jesus. I think it's time. I love her voice. I this love her TV, voice. This is live TV, right? Okay, let's change things up. Oh, there's her sister. Isn't in that Ashley Judd in the audience? I want her to hear this. Oh. Right now? What do I want to do? I just want to keep going and make them sweat. No. <laughs> I want to be spontaneous because the God I believe in is Pentecostal. Say oh, hallelujah! We serve a pet, 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 pet. I should have known by the way this lady was hooting and hollering. She was from the Pentecost church. Ha! The way these Pentecost people will kick off their shoes and get to running up the aisle in the name of the Lord. 
Pentecost don't play, okay? My brothers and sinners, sisters and sinners. Well, hello. We are brothers and sinners, sisters and sin. Uh, my brothers and sisters, the Pentecost church, baby. Don't <laughs> y'all don't stand a chance. The way those people can get to praising. You'll be in church all day. You'll be in church all day. She said the the God I serve. <laughs> Ooh. I knew I liked this lady. I knew I liked this lady. I, I did see her sister. You guys have let me know that her sister is uh, Ashley Judd, who is a famous uh, actress. I don't believe she sings. Um, and I recognize her um, in the audience. I, maybe that's their father or her father. Because I don't think that, do they have the same dad? I don't know. Y'all just spill the tea in the comments. Um, but let me tell you something about the the most beautiful thing to me about Christianity. And there are a lot of awful things that man, man as in humans in the world have done to what Christianity is meant to be the way Jesus left this earth and wanted it to be. But the most beautiful thing is the way that we celebrate someone's life ending. It is called a home going, a celebration of life. It is not a Oftentimes it, it can be, but if you are of a Pentecost denomination or the Baptist denomination, it's a celebration because your loved one has left and gone to heaven, which is eternal life, which is like everything we live for. The goal is the kingdom. And so, yes, on earth, our hearts ache because we were missing this person. But to know that this person made it to glory. Come on now. And that's, that's when I said, let's, let's turn this thing up a little bit. Let's shout unto the Lord. And so that the heavens can hear us rumbling down here on earth. Can I get a witness? Ah! Y'all better stop playing with me. I'll get to pre pass the brick. Well, baby. I want to be spontaneous because the God I believe in is Pentecostal. Say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. she gonna start speaking in tongues. Ha ha ha. Ha I love that. Love and only love. And my. That's it. Drop out. Drop out. The music drop out. I don't know the words. Don't you think it's time? Come on. This is church right here. Say love can build. Jesus, Jesus. Whew. Let me tell you something. It doesn't matter how this lady left the earth. It doesn't matter what the cause of her life ending was. She left a mark, an impact, a legacy of positivity. And even in her pain, her pain was her platform in the end of her life. Pain is platform. And sometimes the God that I serve, hello, can uh, use you as a vessel through both good and sometimes bad things for other people. It's not always about you. What you go through is not always about you, Mike. Okay. Y'all gonna get me up in here uh, shouting for the Lord. Whether you believe or not. Whether you believe or not, you cannot tell me that that did not make you feel something. And at the end of the day, that is really what matters. Okay? If you didn't feel something, you might want to go check your pulse, call your doctor. Something might be wrong. That was one of the most heartwarming performances I've watched in a really long time. Outside of church. <laughs> it felt like, I mean, it was church. And I did not know that this woman, she, like, she is a believer. She said, the God I serve is Pentecostal. I love when people say that, like, well, my God is missionary Baptist. It's like, the Lord is wherever he needs y'all to be. In the church, outside the church, on the street, on the bus, in the car, on the plane. Doesn't matter. Anyway, I've preached enough. I hope you um, take care of yourself. Love on your loved ones. Check on your loved ones. Ask the tough questions. And even if it makes you uncomfortable, do what you know maybe is best or at least what you think they need and go and have the day you deserve. I love you guys. Bye.